All right, been a while. We're gonna upload a video. Um, the, all these calves are doing pretty good. This is the group of calves that uh, right now is uh, approaching a 50% death loss. Uh, needless to say, I'm probably not gonna buy calves from that individual again. Um, <clears throat> this group here, um, they're doing really well. Uh, they're getting pretty good size. Um, most of them are 400 pounds or so. Uh, I have uh, inquired about a uh, full feed program, and uh, I found one. Well, it was actually offered to me. Um, it's uh, sorry, I'm watering the calves. Um, I'm going to experiment with it. I am going to use a hog feeder, modify it, and put it over, either over there or over here on this side. I haven't decided. And I'm going to take probably 10 calves, split them up, and uh, these are all about the same age. And I'm going to put those calves on full feed, on a full feed ration, it's a pellet corn um, and limit feed the forage this other one I'm going to stick with the same game plan that I've been doing and I'm going to see which one works better um, I might just uh, split them in half and just see how they do I might not just take the best ones or you know just kind of even it up a little bit maybe take some good ones and some bad ones and or not bad ones but small ones and see how they do uh, they're really growing pretty good on this. Um, they're uh, five months, a little over five months old. I'm uh, really pushing these. This is probably the best I've done with these calves. Um, of course, they're bigger, bigger frame calves. So, um, anyway, um, I'm not going to go into details on the ration or anything because I really don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, Maybe after the fact, but I'm going to do some fine tuning and see how everything's uh, going to work out. Pretty good sized flakes falling here. Uh, it rained most of the day and for half the day and changed the snow. I think it's about over with, but pretty. Um, got the 5,000 working on it. Got it back to get about just about back together, and uh, Dad's been working on it, and I've been helping him when he needs help. I uh, did some work on my truck and put new tires on it, so got all that out of the way. Um, bottle calves are doing good. I'll do a different video on that. Had them for two weeks. Uh, lost two in the first two days. That's to be expected with two-day-old calves. Uh, you usually lose your bad ones early or the ones that might have trouble or problems or whatever. Uh, the rest of the calves are doing fine. Uh, good, clean calves. Pretty happy with him. Uh, he's probably going to get another call from me. Um, mostly he did what he said he was going to do and has a lot of integrity and I like that. He got me what I told him I wanted. Um, but anyway, these are getting dehorned uh, next weekend. Dehorned, castrated, and shot. Uh, probably implant them and everything. Um, go ahead and uh, vaccinate, vaccinate, do everything that needs to be done on a little program we have here. Uh, the program that I, I will, I will tell you how the, uh, the program works. Um, basically you get them weaned and you put them on, uh, what I call men's trade is a, uh, 36% protein pellet and it's got all kinds of stuff in it. I don't have the the label with me, so I can't really go over it. <clears throat> but um, you give them uh, 2.3 pounds per 100 pounds, and you go up as they grow. And by the time they're 400 pounds, they should be eating about 10 pounds or better. That's when they go on full feed. And with that program, you limit 
the forge. Um, I'm using sawdust, so I don't have corn stalks bale, corn stalk bales, but I have some long stem grass hay and straw. So I'm either going to start bedding with straw, or I'm just going to use this hay that I already have, and I'm probably going to use the hay. Um, nobody around here does full feed on these Holsteins. They feed slop. It is free, but you gotta have some kind of forage with it. Uh, it's a liquid. Uh, you just can't. Uh, I put mine last year, and they're on full all the slop they could eat. But I mean, they're only gonna eat so much of it. It's a liquid base, so they can only hold so much liquid. Um, but they they did well on it. Uh, that rate of gain was probably two pounds. Um, I'm just guessing. Uh, I didn't have a, I did not have a scale to weigh them, so I really don't know for sure. But um, anyway, everything's looking good. Calves will be falling here pretty soon. I was kind of expecting some around with that full moon, maybe to be born a little early, but got a lot of cows getting pretty close, and we'll see. Um, I'm gonna keep these sick calves over here separated completely from the new calves. Um, I really hope nothing gets uh, mixed up, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll give you some updates um, on uh, the feeder, and I really need a uh, a watering system because I really can't hardly give them enough water. So uh, I just have some old barrels. I'm using a water hose, and it gets too cold around here just to use a, a, a valve above ground. I need a, a water, that's what I need. But I don't want to spend any money. I want to just use what I have, and that's why I want to use a hog feeder, modify it, and see how I can do. I got to get it to hold a, a ton of feed somehow. I'm going to put some extensions on it probably and set it up to make it. Uh, make it work. I don't want to spend any money on any feeders if it's not going to work for me. Um, like I said, my program works, so we'll see. Uh, trying to cut back on the labor and run more head is the goal. We'll see. Uh, it's all uh, uh, part of it. Just got to figure out a program that works for me, and that's what I'm doing right now. This program works, but... Um, I don't want to get too comfortable because I want to try to keep making progress. So try something different, see how it works. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.